Hey guys, so today I wanted to do just a real quick first impressions of this eyeshadow that I'm wearing right now. Stay tuned, it'll be quick. It is the new Butter, well it's not new, I think it's been out for about six months, but it's the Butter London Glazen Eye Gloss and I got it in oil slick, so if you wanna see how this goes on and my first impressions, you're in the right place, stay tuned. So hopefully I'm close enough that you guys will be able to see this. I am kind of in a new little setup area and I don't have a little table yet, so I've got everything kind of balanced on my lap. And I'm not the most graceful person. Pretty dang clumsy, actually, so let's just hope this goes okay. So I'm gonna start with just a little tiny dab. And it says start in the inner corner, but I have very tiny, tiny lids. So I'm actually starting in the middle and kind of blending it out. And I got some in the inner corner of my eye, of course. That is really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. Holy crap. That is beautiful. Can you guys see that reflect in there? Wow. That is the tiniest bit too. I'm gonna try a brush on the other side and see how it applies. Um, it does dry pretty fast. These are supposed to be completely like crease proof and keep that kind of like glossy eye look. I love this color. It definitely looks like an oil slick. It's got a blue, purple, teal shift to it. I hope this is picking up on camera for you guys. Okay, let's try it with a brush. I think I actually like the application with your finger better. It um, distributes the product a little bit more evenly. The brush tends to keep kind of picking it up off of your eyelid. And I don't like the harsh line that it gives where you end it with a brush. So definitely follow the directions on this one and use your finger because that got messy real fast when I used the brush, which I would have thought the opposite. I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side, right in the center and see how it builds. Let's not take any of the first layer off I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side with my finger right there in the center where it lifted it off with the brush. I'm gonna clean up my mess up and I'll be right back. So hopefully that is picking up good on camera because in person it's beautiful. I just wanted, to, sorry I'm so close, I wanted you guys to be able to see it. Let me back up a little bit. There is the touched up eye. This stuff would not budge. I will say like when I touched up and kind of darkened my crease up a little bit again where I had went up too high, it went over it really nicely and I didn't get any like glittery fallout really. I think I had like one little piece fall on my cheek that I seen. So um, I really, really like it. I've wanted to try it for a long time, but it retails for $24. Now I got it at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so it was on sale for $12. So I was like, well, heck yeah, for $12, I'll try it. Um, you can always return it if you don't like it. Right now it is back to full price of $24, but I wanted to read just a couple of the claims. So it comes in four different colors. Like I said, I got oil slick and it says that Details, a new trick to your beauty arsenal, Butter Linen's Glaze and Eye Gloss is a breakthrough eyeshadow that delivers a wet shine look without being wet. Totally agree, it completely dries down, feels like eyeshadow on your lids. Um, this playful pudding-like texture applies like a gel but dries like a powder and it says it lasts all day. I don't know that, I'll update in the comments below after I've worn it for the day. Um, benefits, lightweight, crease resistant, long wearing, buildable, sheer shimmer to intense metallic. Skin conditioning to help prevent dry eyelids and unique gelling agent gives a pudding like texture, creates a film to keep the sparkle from budging. Unique pearl suspension gives the product a wet look on the lids. So you guys judge for yourself, but I really, really liked it. It was super easy to apply. And if you want kind of like a fun, quick 
lid look. You guys seen the before and after, so. So I hope you guys like this quick little first impression with me. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys later.